Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a um, foundation, primer, and concealer declutter. So we're just going to start out with the primers because that's what I start out with first. So the first primer here is the um, First Aid Beauty Coconut Oops, wow, Smoothing Primer. And I am going to keep this. I am almost out of it. It is just a little travel size one. And I really do like this. And then the next one I have here is the Wet n Wild Primer. This is the older version, but now I'm pretty sure it's called the Photo Focus Primer. And I am going to keep this. I do like it. I feel it is moisturizing and I need that right now. The next one here is the Benefit Professional, and I really do like this primer. I'm about halfway out, so I'm going to finish it. And here I have the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, and I don't like this primer, so I'm going to get rid of it. I don't like it because it feels very oily on the skin, and I am oily already, so I, I don't need that, so I'm just going to get rid of this. And excuse my fingernails, they need to be done very bad. And then the next one here I have is a Cover FX one, and I'm going to keep that as well as this small Smashbox primer. And then I just have some little samples here, and I am going to keep those because I want to try them because I am interested in getting the like full version of them. And next we're going to do foundations because that's what I would go in with next. And here I have the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation and I really like this foundation so I'm going to keep that. As well as this Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I do like this. It is a little too dark for me but it will match more here soon because it will be the summer. And I have the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, and I really, I think this is okay. I was about to say I really like it, but I, I think it's okay. I don't know if I'd repurchase it. I still want to give it more shots, so I will keep that. And here I have the Dewy and Smooth one, and I am getting rid of this because one, it is way too dark. And two, I have oily skin, so dewy to me does not work, and I am going to get rid of it for those reasons. And I have two Wet n Wild foundations here, and I will keep them. One of them is closer to my shade now, and one is like my shade in the summer. The one that is my shade now, it's really not my shade now, it's a little too light, so I'm going to keep them both because I like to mix them together. Next I have the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation and I really like this foundation so I will be keeping that. It is a little too dark for me though. And here I have the Milani foundation and I it is way too dark for me so I don't know my final opinion on it. I should honestly just get rid of it. But I have the um, LA Girl whitening drops, so maybe I will keep it and try them together. And the last foundation I have is the Pro Matte Foundation, and it's too dark, and I don't, it wasn't my favorite. I would repurchase it just to give it another shot, but I'm going to get rid of it. It's pretty old anyway. And next we have concealers. So I am going to keep my Krylon Color Wheel. These concealers are great. I mainly like them for like covering up blemishes and stuff. And then next I have the NARS Creamy Matte Concealer, concealer and I will be keeping this. Here I have the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to get rid of this just simply because it's not my color. I do like this concealer and it's very old so it needs to be gone. Next I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I really do like this concealer and it works for me right now. I also have the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and I'm going to keep this. It's almost gone and I do like it. 
Next I have the Maybelline Baby Skin Concealer and I, this color is way too dark for highlighting but I usually mix it in with my Urban Decay Concealer which is a little too light so I usually do that combo so I'm going to keep them. And here I have two Maybelline Age Rewind Concealers and I just could never find my shade I felt so that's why I have two and I just didn't think they were my favorite and recently I gave them another shot and they kind of burned my under eyes so that is why I'm getting rid of these. And then here I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I will be keeping this. I It's not the lightest but I like to mix it in with the Urban Decay one. And here I have the Too Faced Concealer and I'm going to be keeping this as well. So yeah, that completes this whole video. I hope you liked it. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you back next time. Bye! That's so cheesy, but bye!